Max fans from North America. Pretty quiet session here in Europe. We originally had Euro lower, printed that same low as post FOMC last night, 123.87. And then we screwed back higher up to a high of 49, 124.49. We're 43 choice here. Uh, so basically, just a little 50 point range, not much going on. We got what we wanted in dollar yen, uh, dollar yen higher all day couldn't really get back below 45 which was yesterday's low or now it's 65 dollar Swiss we're waiting still this trend line here looks pretty neat this was the top side of the pennant that broke now we have this double bottom at 90 we're suggesting you should be buying through 43 and then buying again through 93 in dollar Swiss so long dollar Swiss to go with our long dollar yen Dollar Swiss has been incredibly quiet. We, tri we printed 41, and then we printed 11. Actually, I think we got down to 05. Um, so, 35-point range in Dollar Swiss. Muted, as usual, by the moves in uh, Euro Swiss. Yuri ended break 136.50. Traded up as high as 136.30, sorry, traded up as high as 52. Let's keep in mind that the real important high in Euro Yen is 136.64. That's the year's That's the year's high so far. Have not broken that. Uh, does not look in jeopardy to break that. Cable broke through yesterday's FOMC highs, or actually not the FOMC highs. This was the fix highs. Uh, 132.34 shot up pretty aggressively up to 74 but now we're back right here at 40 we had weaker numbers UK manufacturing weaker um, don't really understand what's going on in cable so we're just going to avoid it if anything it looks like we want to sell this uh, Anywhere up in this sort of 142.75, 143.75 zone. Uh, the press in the UK is continually, continually getting worse and worse. This eventually will catch up in the FX markets. A lot of bad press about Facebook today on the front covers of the FT and Wall Street Journal. You wonder if that's going to bleed into um, the equity markets. We don't have a super strong trade in the equities, but it is worth noting that you know you can draw these lines in equities as well. Here's the upward sloper in Facebook. The uptrend kind of gets broken through 180. So just as a sort of a harbinger of, of perhaps a fang sell-off, um, let's just keep an eye on Facebook 180. Uh, for today, we're basically focusing solely on dollar Swiss here. Uh, for the moment, we're 20 points away from uh, our our buy area, which is going to be 93.40. One thing we don't like about this move is this is Euro Swiss driven. Euro Swiss is now 116 the figure. It's up about 30 ticks. So even though Euro dollar is higher, dollar Swiss is retaining its strength through Euro Swiss. Ideally we want more of a big dollar move uh, rather than a Euro Swiss move. So we'll be a little bit more cautious if Euro dollar remains on its highs as we're approaching our buy levels in dollar Swiss. Be careful with that. We've got uh, jobless claims today, we've got PMIs, uh, and we've got consumer confidence at four. Or what is it? Sorry, we've got uh, construction spending, 4 o'clock. Some minor numbers. Uh, just keep an eye on the equities and keep an eye on the bonds more than we do the economic releases these days as far as trying to gain direction. 
FOM, I mean, uh, non-farm payrolls tomorrow. So things will probably die a death today, 6 p.m. Central European time. And then we put our strategies together for uh, NFP tomorrow. One last thing, uh, Bank of England's Brazier speaking, 6.30 tonight. Not sure what he could possibly say, but he could mention inflation. Could be sterling. Could be sterling volatility inducing. So just keep keep your eyes open if you're playing in the sterling. 6.30 Central European time. We got Bank of England officials speaking. All right, guys. That's it for now. Uh, good luck out there today. And we will talk to you tomorrow at the European Open. Ciao.